You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, master. That's all? She tried to imprison a child. A misjudgment. One that should weigh heavily upon her. But the Grove still needs her passion. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. I feel strength in the shadows. May Sylvanas forgive me. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanas bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. Think nothing of it. I'm glad Halson is safe. As am I. The Grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. We'll just quickly nab that reward and then get out of here. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. I'm just glad I could help. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. It was you, right? Who took care of the goblins? I knew you were a good one. Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. I was sick of running from those rats. I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. <laughs> uh, Come on. We didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. Ooh. You have no idea how right you are. I'm your Lubbock. Yes, you are. Now, stop. I hate you. You killed all the goblins, and now we can't practice swords anymore. All right, kid. You saved us! Just like Baldy Ron! I knew this would come right if we just stayed positive. Not that your blade didn't help, too. Eldrell didn't want us, and those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you... you risked your life for us. Zevlor, by Delt's virtue, the Blade of Frontiers? What's happened, Will? I paid the price of angering the wrong devil. Believe me, I understand better than most. A moment passes as Zevlor contemplates Will's words. He then turns his attentions to you. A scout just reported. The Goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Oh, that's not necessary. Please, keep your coin. Very good of you. Thank you. 
Hao Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Of course. Well, I already spoke with Halson, so let's go there right away. Excellent. Lead the way. Have a drink. I'm fine. Well, no, Glow is no, still covered in blood, so she's gonna go clean up a little bit, make herself presentable, and then come out and visit. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. Don't be so harsh on your elders. I'm not. I'm glad they can celebrate before we've even got to the gate. Just like I'll be glad to be rid of them once we're there. Go on, enjoy yourself. But if any of them sleep past noon, they're getting left behind. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without. But even so, thank you. Go on, do your rounds. But if they hand you something purple, don't drink it. I think they got into Ethel's potions. Hmm. Where's Will? Maybe Lazel knows. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades, yet they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us both you've turned your back on me so often. Oh, well, I'm sorry if you feel... ignored. I am grateful for your aid. You're a gifted warrior. Vlacketh demands of me no less. If only you'd earned the right to lay at my side. Come morning, you will wonder. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted. How my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Celebrate now. Come dawn, we depart. Um... Okay. You won't have to worry about us anymore. I'll fight anything we meet on the road. Anything. Watch out, Baldur's Gate. Chell's coming for you. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Take your own advice, why don't you? Go on. Mingle a little. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Enjoy yourself tonight. I'll come and find you in the morning so we can talk. Aha! There you are! Come now, settle in. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. And by this, you mean... Why, your naming, quite obviously. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk, after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. I already have a name. A wonderful one indeed. 
but your deeds loom larger than life now, my friend. You simply must have a title to match. You have something in mind? Far too much. This is the very problem. If you could set aside your many triumphs, carry out one defining act, not to belittle your achievements to date, of course, but besting a dragon, a giant, a god, perhaps? Hmm. I must deliberate. Go, enjoy your evening. I shall have work for you in the days to come. Away and have your fun. I have a myth to make. I can't wait to get moving. Beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion. Though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. Sounds, um, fun. Oh, not everyone is comfortable being alone with their thoughts. Though I never felt alone with a book in my hand. Or with her for company. I speak of Tara, my Tressen, assistant, my constant companion through all the ills and tribulations my hubris has thrust upon me. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition and locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable. Wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself. But Tara never did. It was her encouragement. Her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. She must be very smart to have done all that. Smart does her a disservice. She's a fine wizard in her own right, though somewhat held back by her lack of opposable thumbs. You remind me of her somewhat. An expression you both share. When she gives in to her more feline qualities. A mouse trapped beneath her paw. Hmm. I wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. Friends with the mighty gale of Waterdeep? I'd be honored. Ah, wine is to wit as meat is to... To... Ugh, oh, I can't bloody remember it. There I go then, proving your point. Perhaps we'd better leave it at that. My ineloquent tongue isn't worthy of your ear at present. Go. Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. Shari! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. <laughs> Do devils even grow turnips? Can't all be souls and flesh of the damned? I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. Lie down. Then dance. Patience. Have you no respect? For showmanship. 
Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And... Behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. An adoring crowd, fine wine. I dare say this place is almost civilized. I take it you're happy you stayed to help? Not at all. But perhaps Leah had a point. What is the point in blades and spells if we don't use them? Though we won't need either soon. As Leroican's apprentice, I'll take care of everything. I expect Leah and Cal to demand yet another showcase of prestidigitation, so I'd like a moment to myself. Sure thing, Roland. <laughs> Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. I'm glad you stuck around. Me too. You're one of the good ones, you know that. Look us up when you hit Borders Gate. Be nice to see a friendly face. Elturel was the last time the three of us talked like this. Let's hope it lasts until Baldur's Gate. Cheers to a night we won't remember. Would you look at this place? All these people, happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And we're good potations, too. Are you enjoying yourself? Fuck yes! I'm celebrating my freedom, and our friendship, and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire-retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Oh my. <laughs> well, enjoy yourself tonight, Karlak. You too, soldier. Enjoy yourself tonight. You've earned it. Have fun. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. It's okay to be grateful you're alive. You should join them. Have a pint or two. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. <sighs> this party's a bit more bearable, thanks to that pint. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Refugees? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. <laughs> not so odd. We did the right thing. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? I'd be glad to. We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Oh, I thought you meant now. I should really check in with the others, so another time? As you like. Try not to tie yourself out too much. I already got my answer. Let's not make this awkward. Awkward? I was just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Glad to see you're having fun. 
thing of it. No more caves, no more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. To beds and hearths, to dirty pubs and dwarven ale. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Are you all right? No. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood. And I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but... I unsettle them deep down. As I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Horns this sharp will pop the balloons, you see. And the guests won't take kindly to scars quite so monstrous. You don't unsettle me. You know that. If only half the world had half the heart you do. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. I want to dance with you. <laughs> In truth, I always enjoyed a bit of pomp. I once beat the Baldron record for the most sarabans danced in a single evening. Much to the exhaustion of the good ladies and gentlemen of the gate. I had years of lessons, but in truth, it's all about your partner. You cut quite a fine figure. I can just imagine leading you with an entire ballroom watching. But who am I fooling? I can't go back to that life. If not a dance, then... Maybe... a kiss? You drive a hard bargain. But just the one. I... <clears throat> well, then... Um... You've got a party to get back to. After all, tonight is about you. There will be another time for us. Have a laugh. Make some noise. I'll be my charming self before you know it. Well, no topping that. It's time for bed. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. Go to bed hoping to dream of Will. Somewhere in the corner of your heart, you suspect he might be dreaming of you too. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. To Moonrise Towers, then. May the sun and stars guide us. What's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, 
tormented, dangerous souls. What do you suggest? You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. I don't want to risk getting lost in the Underdark. I'll journey overland. You may reconsider once you see the effects of the curse for yourself. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. What about the Grove? I've chosen a successor as First Druid. Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. What about one of the others? Wrath, perhaps? Wrath has promise, but he has a ways to go yet. He wasn't able to stop Korga by himself. The Grove needs experience, and a strong hand. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oakfather's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Sounds like the Grove will be in good hands then. We should get going. Indeed. We've quite the journey ahead of us. I advise you start in the Temple of Saluna. If you find the Dark Justicia's hidden entrance, it could lead you all the way to Moonrise. Since the party, I've had a spring in my step. And I've got you to thank. I enjoyed myself too. The kiss, in particular. <laughs> Unforgettable, I'd say. The right time, the right place, and the right person. Oh, goodness. My cheeks have gone warm. Am I blushing? <sighs> I must be blushing. <laughs> ah, that smile. It could light up a room. Hell's... It could light up the entire Bay of Baldurin. <laughs> but I'm sure you didn't come by to bask in shameless flattery. To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted you to know that it was a lovely evening. And I hope we can share even more. I'm sure we will. And when the time comes, I've got something in mind. Now, now, no prodding. You don't want to spoil the surprise. But I'll say this. It'll be worth the wait. I have no doubt. Only one thing that can make this day better. to the mountain pass.